Hey everyone, Joe Workman, and this is gonna be video two of our Foundation Getting Started series, right? So if you haven't checked out video one, what we did is we built out an entire web page. We went over a lot of content. So if you are new, make sure that you check that video out. So in this video, we're gonna take the content page that we built out in video one and basically build that into building blocks that we can be applied to other pages. This is really big. It's essentially using this stack, this feature of Stacks 3 called partials. And well, it's huge, right? I mean, it's really gonna revolutionize. And you'll see here how partials is gonna revolutionize the way that we build websites now. Because with Foundation, you can build your theme, save that theme in partials, and apply it across all your pages, right? So without further ado, let's jump in and get it done. Okay, so here's the web page that we've built out in video one. And what you'll notice is that essentially the, the page is broken down into three sections. At the top, we kind of have our header area, okay? Then below that, we have our main content. And then below that, we have our footer, okay? That's essentially the main structure that I want to have on my site. I like to have every single page to have the same exact banner, okay, except maybe what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this text. So this checks, this text box inside here can be changed, but I want everything to be the same. I want the same icon, I want the same banner background, I want the same top bar styles. Now my content, that's gonna be completely different, right? But the general shell for my content, I wanna make sure that we have the same padding um, and whatnot. And then my footer, I wanna be exactly the same, the same text, the same color, the same everything across every page. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna define those structures that I talked about on our page. And we do this using the new structure stack that came with Foundation 1.5. What we'll do is I'm gonna add a structure stack to the page. And if we look at the settings for the structure stack, you'll see that we have a structure type setting. And what I can do is I can set this to be a header. So this tells search engines and device readers that the content within this structure is our header, our page header. So I'm gonna add our entire page header in that. Now for simplicity's sake, I'm actually gonna add top bar and site styles into this as well. And the reason for this is that on this particular site, I wanna make sure that my header, my top bar, and site styles are gonna be the same across my entire site. Depending on the way you're styling your site, you may wanna keep them separate. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save this header structure as a partial so that we can add it to any web page in our project. And to do that, you select the stack that you want to become a partial and you click on the green partial button. And what that will do is that will save this. We are now in partial edit mode. And I'm gonna create this and call this a header partial, or just let's call it a header. So now I have this particular stack set saved as a partial. And if we go back, we'll see that all of the stacks that are contained within that partial are now labeled as a header. Now, if we were to go to another page on our project and we open up the stacks library, you'll notice that the second group inside the stacks library is for partials. And the header partial that we just saved is there. And what we'll notice is I can just add this to the page and I immediately have my entire stacks partial that I created. Now what's awesome is to edit this partial again, you just simply double click it and you'll go into stacks partial edit mode. And I can change any setting throughout all of these stacks and they will change across all of the pages that use this partial. That's powerful. Now, I told you earlier that I didn't want to have the header and the text actually be the same across any pages. And what I can do is inside my partial editor, you'll notice that I have some pins. 
And what I can do is I can unpin this content. So if I were to unpin this content, you'll notice that that, that content is actually now removed from the partial. And what I can do is I can now edit that content across all of my pages. So on this particular page, I wanna call this about. So as you see, I can actually customize the text content and only the text content on a per page basis. But all the rest of the content remains the same. If I go back to the home page, we'll see that the header content still remained what it was before. Now let's repeat this process for our main content area. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna add a structure stack. And then actually what I wanna do is I'm gonna mimic this one column stack. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a one column stack. And if we remember this one column stack had a three rem padding on the top and the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create a partial out of this. Okay, now actually I forgot, in our structure stack, we actually wanna set the structure to be main because this is gonna be define our main content area. So here we have a structure that is main with a one column stack that has three rem padding on the top and the bottom. So I select my structure stack and I create a partial from that. And let's go ahead and give it a title of main content. And let's go back. Now, actually, I forgot inside the main content, we actually want to unpin this drop area because what that means is the content area for this entire thing is going to be different across all pages. So go ahead and go back. And now I have a stacks drop zone, which I can then drop all of my content in. So now that I've moved all of my main content into that main content partial that we created, I can go ahead and delete the old one column stack. And last but not least, let's go ahead and create our partial for our footer. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, quickly just add a structure stack to the bottom of the page. Hide my library. Um, we're gonna go ahead and set our data, our structure to be a footer. I'm gonna go ahead and save my panel inside the structure. Click my structure, add the partial. We're gonna name this a partial of footer. Whoops. And actually in this case, I want the text to be the same across all my pages. So I am not gonna unpin this text area because I wanna make sure that it's the same across all my pages. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. And now we have all of our entire site saved nicely within partials, except for the content that's specific to the page. So now I can go to my about page and start adding all the partials that we did. So below our header, we want our main content area. And then below the main content area is gonna be our footer. Very easy. And then in our contact page, we wanna have a header, and then we're gonna add our main content, and then below that, we're gonna add a footer. Now, obviously, this is our contact page, so we're gonna change the text. And there we go. We now have a site that contains basically our theme, right? Our header, our main content area, and our footer and it's all kept in sync across every page through stacks partials. Okay, so now that all of our pages have partials that sync basically our theme across all the pages, right? Our header, our main content container, as well as our footer, let's go and add some content to the about page. So on the about page, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a two column stack in here, and then I want a header and a paragraph on this side um, with an image on this side. And let's go ahead and add a divider between the header and the paragraph. Okay, it's pretty good. And let's go ahead and look at some of the settings here. Uh, for the image, I'm gonna go ahead and just add in a default real Mac image. 
Okay. Um, actually going to change the column split here a little bit. So on tablet and desktop, we're going to make it a, um, a nine by three. And then on this header, we're just going to say about real Mac. Okay. Uh, on this divider, I only want the bottom margin because I want the line to be directly under my header. And then on this paragraph, I actually want to remove the bottom margin and we don't need quite so much text. Okay. This looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and replicate this out a couple more times. Now I duplicated this content out just to have a little bit more content about the other people that developed these amazing tools. And if we preview this, we'll see that we now have our header and banner content in sync across all pages. Our content area is unique per page. Our footer is in sync. And the text here is separate on each page. And of course, we still have all of that responsive behavior, right? So on tablet, we have our a, a different look for our banner. And then when we get down to mobile, it looks even better, right? Because, uh, you know, everything is shrunk down. We have enough space for our content. Um, this is just a really great way to build websites. And if we look again, just to preview our homepage again, we have the same content, okay? Or I'm sorry, the same content as before. It is unique to this page, but our header is the same and it's all kept in sync. This is really big. Okay, everyone, so I wanted to keep this video pretty short because we didn't do a lot compared to video one, right? But what we did is huge, right? It's revolutionary because these partials allow us to take what we made before, save them within our project file, and use them anywhere we want. Now, we did do it pretty simple, right? We have, you know, all of our header content in one partial, right? It's possible that maybe you have a partial that contains just site styles and a partial that contains top bar. And remember that you can actually have partials that can contain other partials, right? So we, we did have it rather simple. We have our partial for our header, our main content area, and our footer. We also use the structure stack to kind of give um, us a little bit of benefit for screen readers and for you know search engines to know what sections of our web pages are as well. So we defined the structure of our website, defined the templates using partials, and then applied those templates across all the pages. And then re remember that we unpinned certain content so that that content was unique to each page inside of a partial. This way we can create an enclosure like our banner that the outside or parts of it are global, but the actual text was different on every page. This is very powerful. This allows us a lot of flexibility and it's really going to save us a ton of time while bu building our websites. And remember with partials, when you change a setting inside one partial, it's going to change it across all of the pages that use that partial. So I hope you practice using these and, you know, watch this video again if you didn't fully grasp some of that concept. Um, and in video three, the last video of our Getting Started series, we're going to jump into some of the last, you know, remaining things that we need to think about for our websites. So I'll see you there. Thanks, everybody. Bye.